So our setup uh, is gonna be also kneeling, okay? Um, you're gonna be on your shins and you're gonna need a stick of some kind. I am using my Swiffer stick without the actual Swiffer. So we're working on shoulder internal rotation and extension, which is very relevant for m mostly dips, but also anything that requires internal rotation, which is almost every movement, because when you're doing external, external you have to counter that with internal, right? So when you're doing a bicep curl, given it's not the best example, you know what, better example. When you're doing a dip, <clears throat> this is internal, okay? Then when you're pressing to come back up and rise, that's external. So just because a movement seems like it's one thing, it's actually both, okay? You just, we're, we're only thinking about half of the equation. So we wanna work at, we wanna work globally. We wanna work at all angles. So you're gonna take your stick, hold it like this with your palm facing away. Then you're gonna place it behind you, right where your feet are, okay? Now you wanna find the spot in which you can lift off, okay? So that's not quite the end range, it's like 10%. And that 10% is where injuries happen if you're not prepared, okay? So find the place at which you can lift. I feel like this is around where I am. I've seen better, but it's okay. So you're gonna do a pales, so press down, working the progressive angle. So we're trying to close the angle between the arm and the trunk. Then you're gonna do a passive range lift off, okay? So stick goes pretty much right behind the toes. From here, I want you to start tucking the hips a little bit, pulling the ribs down towards the pubic bone. Brace and hold. From here, I want you to start pushing down into the floor. And notice how my triceps and my deltoids and every little muscle behind my back is very on. So I'm starting with 60% effort and I'm pushing into the floor. I'm squeezing my butt just a tiny bit to hold my pelvis stable. Now I'm gonna walk it up to 70% effort. And I'm pushing a little harder. Now give me 80%. Now 90 which is almost as hard as you can push. Your near max effort push, hold, five, four. This should, should accumulate to about 15 seconds. One, from here, move nothing but the arm. Hover above the floor. Internally rotate the shoulder, keep the elbow straight. Hold, five, four, three, two, one. That is one rep. Okay, hmm, forgot one step. When you bring the hand back forward with the stick, let's say my hand was here, try to put your hand in the exact same spot on the other side. Okay, we want them to be the same and we wanna even out imbalances even though being imbalanced is a part of being a human being and it's okay if like one hip feels a little weird versus the other hip, like we don't have to be so cognizant of every single detail, but we want the shoulders to be, and the hips and every joint to be as close to even as possible. Um, so yeah, that's that one.